Hi everyone, my name is Renee Aliana and I'm a student at Wayne State University majoring in accounting and marketing at the Mike Illich School of Business. I'm also a member of the Irvin D. Reed Honors College. Today I'm going to be taking you through a day in my life, but a little less typical than what you've seen before. I'm a sales operations intern at Continental Automotive, so today I'm going to be taking you through my work day. So I am a first-generation American and first-generation college student, so Wayne State really seemed like the perfect choice. I get to stay at home with my family since I am a commuter and save a ton of money. I know everyone's Wayne State experiences are super different, though, so I was wondering if you guys had any questions for me, and you can just drop them below. So I'm taking a quick work break to answer some questions. Um, I really like this question. I went in initially as an accounting major with a minor in philosophy, but just to make a CPA certification a little more feasible, I decided to add a double major and drop my minor. Marketing really spoke to me just because it allowed me to be a little more creative compared to the logical side of accounting, and it's very much a combination you do not see among accountants, so it's really set me apart in that way as well. Um, when it comes to coffee, I have three main recommendations that I enjoy on campus. So the first one would be the Starbucks at the Student Center. Of course, I know what my Starbucks order is, so it's pretty convenient to hop to. Uh, I like the negative 320 degrees, which is also near main campus. They have really good nitro cold brew. And then the 14 East Cafe is right at the Mike Illich School and it's really good as well. Uh, I've definitely hopped there a few times to get coffee in between classes. So I just want to start off. I know a lot of people discount themselves from getting internships because they think that they don't have more corporate job experience, but almost any job can be related to uh, the day-to-day -day in an internship. Like communication and customer service uh, are very prominent roles in a lot of jobs that are more traditional for college students like restaurant work or retail and things like that. So just dealing with customers on a day-to-day -day is super applicable. Make sure that you're answering interview questions in a star format, which is situation, task, action, result. Make sure that you're also keeping your LinkedIn and Handshake updated. We have a great career planning and placement department, and they also come with tuition. So they'll be more than willing to look at resumes, cover letters, interview prep, and help you with job applications. So definitely keep that in mind. Make sure that you're keeping your eyes peeled for job fairs, any company visits, and LinkedIn or handshake posts about job opportunities. I did get this job through LinkedIn, so I do check it pretty frequently for any opportunities, and I would recommend doing the same. I would say the Honors College is a pretty transformative experience. It A, looks great on a resume, um, but also the classes are awesome. The faculty, as far as the Honors College, have been stellar. I have loved every single class I've taken. Even though they're pretty far outside of my major, I took a Food in America course last winter, and I'm taking a film and music class this winter, and they're so far out of the reach of my major, but I've really been enjoying them because it is more out of the box and allows me to explore more areas. So I will say my favorite Honors College class has been the Changing Detroit class. It really informed me on what was going on in the city um, that's only like 30 minutes away from my house and that I attend school in. So it's just been a great experience and I would highly recommend if you have the opportunity to be in the Honors College. So as far as the business school, most of the classes meet once a week for two and a half hours. And that's how the majority of my experience at Wayne has been. So I have a class tonight from 6 to 8.30 and I'm able to work a full day before taking that class because of the awesome flexibility that Wayne offers. So that's a big draw for me of why I love it. I've been able to have a wealth of opportunities because of the flexibility that Wayne offers. And without that flexibility, I wouldn't have been able to take on a part-time job. I am about to take a quick lunch break. I've been working on capacity project all day. I am curious though, even though I'm not on campus today, what some of your favorite spots to eat downtown are. So my internship started in May of 2022 and has entailed a lot of different stuff. Today I'm working on a capacity project, which is comparing capacity among three of our different capacity tools. I will say consistent things within the day-to-day -day is definitely Office 365 suite. I would say my three most used are um, Outlook, Teams, and Excel, of course. I do most of my work in Excel as an accounting major just for classes, and it's really transitioned nicely to work. I would say, though, that my role here most correlates with global supply chain-related topics since we are talking capacity. 
something that's really important is being able to correlate what you're learning at school to work. So last semester in the fall, I took a global supply chain course and I really liked the class, really liked the professor. So I was able to pursue an independent study because of the honors college and correlate that to what I was learning. In addition to that, I had taken an introductory business administration class, which covered Excel, PowerPoint, and Word. And so that's really helped me develop my skills here in Excel further with learning how to do formulas and just general formatting and just how to be effective in Excel. So I'm about to start my drive home since I do have a class tonight, but I figured I would answer this question. I applied for this internship through LinkedIn and from then on I was contacted about an interview and eventually got a job offer. Again, my advice would be definitely keep your eyes peeled on LinkedIn and Handshake and make sure that you're always updating your resume and you'll be fine. I definitely was nervous going into my internship. I wanted to make sure I left a really good impression on my managers. Something that I think I was a little more nervous about though was the interview process just to get over that hump to get the job. And then when I got there, I think it's really about affirming yourself that you were meant to be there and you know avoiding that imposter syndrome in a way. Uh, I feel like as far as business, there's not much that you can do to prepare for an internship as the demands vary from internship to internship. Um, I really just made sure I had pretty sharp Excel skills and worked on that. I personally use Excel to plan a lot, so that definitely helped me prepare uh, just to be quicker on my feet. Marketing involves a lot of group projects. I have three going on right now and I am taking three marketing classes. So I am going to spend the evening getting prepared for some of those group meetings next week since my evening class today did get canceled. Um, and especially because I do wanna play catch up before spring break starts. So let me know if you're going anywhere. I just wanted to talk a little bit about why I chose to go to Wayne State. I know you get different answers from everyone, but I think the top three are family, scholarship money, and just saving money. And I would say part of those reasons are actually why I also chose Wayne. The scholarships are extremely generous. I get to stay home. And since I do have younger sisters, I got to stay home with them. So I've had a lot of fun. And you also get a wealth of different experiences. A lot of companies that you'll interview with have offices in Detroit. So to be in the heart of that, right in the middle of it, especially as a business student, is super valuable and you could not make me trade it for the world. I love Wayne. It's a super diverse campus and a lot of the students like me are first generation American or first generation college students and both. So it's been really great getting to know people who are similar to me and have the same interests. And we just have amazing faculty. The business school faculty has a lot of real world experience. So it has made the college experience beyond valuable and applicable to real life for me. My last piece of advice is to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. As Wayne State students and as people, you're going to be in a lot of situations that aren't necessarily comfortable for you, whether it be group work, social events, professional development, but it's important to be comfortable with being uncomfortable because that's what's gonna push you to participate in all these new things. I participated in the elevator pitch competition hosted by the Mike Illich School of Business back in the fall. And it was a super great opportunity to network with my peers and hear about their experiences at Wayne and just through life in general. And also just develop some professional experience skills like having an elevator pitch. And had I not been comfortable with a little bit of discomfort, I don't think I would have been able to push myself to do that. So just be ready to do that as a warrior. Thank you for tuning in today for my Instagram takeover and day in the life as a Mike Illich School business student and a sales operations intern at Continental Automotive. I really enjoyed talking to you. Go Warriors!